Where's a peyote, Billy? Oh, we're we gonna have a peyote party? Why not? I'm a great pope. I'm very lenient. You'd have been an awesome pope, Hans. Huh? Hans. Isn't one of us going to address the elephant in the room? The one? <laughs> yeah. Who saw the fucking peyote around here, Marty? <laughs> <laughs> pa. Pa. Sorry if I haven't been a very good friend to you, buddy. Pa. You've been a good friend to me, Marty. What are you talking about? Well, Where did you kill all those people? Huh? Why did you kill all those people? Well, like I told you at Kaya's party, I, I killed all those people to spur you on a little bit and give you something to write about and get you to finish your screenplay. Look, you told me. When? You told me about this at the party, man! Maybe I am an alcoholic if I could forget something like that. <laughs> Maybe I am an alcoholic. Okay, listen, I didn't tell you about it at the party. I was just kidding about that, because you surprised me. That would have been ridiculous telling you at the party. You might have told somebody, got me in trouble. Come on, did you just tell me that you told me? Well, to make you think a little bit about your alcohol issues. How about that? Billy, you kill women! I killed a woman. Take it easy. You shot her in the stomach, Billy. Well, that's better than the head, ain't it? Not really, well, no. I, I said I was sorry, didn't I? Yeah, well... I don't hang out with people who kill women, Billy, and I certainly don't write screenplays with them. What are you talking about, Marty? You best pack the tent up, Billy. It's over. It's over? <laughs> what? What? Where's this other fucking nutcase? Hans! Hans! Hans, what are you? My wife is sitting on a chair someplace, in some great place. I thought she'd be in heaven, but she's sitting on a chair with a bullet in her head. I thought they'd clean that kind of stuff up. Maybe you've just eaten too many hallucinogenic cactuses tonight, Hans. Nothing to do with the hallucinogens. But you've just seen Myra on a chair with a bullet through her head. In some great place. England? It seemed a lot worse than that. Wow. Listen, Hans, let's say we talk about this on the drive home. I mean, we may find some perfectly reasonable evidence. Jesus. Hey! Now, now, don't get mad. What the hell did you do? I set the car on fire. Well, how the hell are we supposed to get home? We're in the middle of the fucking desert, Billy. Yeah, that's the least of our worries. What else did you do? I'll give you a clue. Come on in. So yeah, 
I just called up old Charlie Costello and I told him where we were and to come down and get his dog back and said, if you're in trouble finding us, just look for a Buick umpire. I didn't tell him to promise to come alone. And I don't know him. And he said that he would. And he'll be here in a couple of hours, depending on traffic. Now, I've labeled these guns up for you. But you totally don't have to use them. Right? And I won't think that you're pussies, but I'm going to hang on to mine. Because I think we've done enough of this talking about peace and the desert type stuff, don't you? I do. This movie is my way. Well, that's just fucking great! Oh, great! You know what that is? Do you know what that is? Great. That's just fucking great! How far is the walk to the welcome center? We can't leave him. You ain't gonna fight. Of course, I ain't gonna fight, but I ain't gonna run. What are you gonna do then? I guess I'm gonna die. Friends don't make their friends die, Hans. Psychopathic friends do. You're the one who thought psychopaths were so interesting. They get kind of tiresome after a while, don't you think? <laughs>